Um, I'm not sure if that'll cure or confuse. It should, though. It did! Awesome! Now, let's talk up the rest of those. Alright, back to full on, on, full, uh, on full lives. Awesome! Where's Isuna? There it is. For you! Son. Yeah, screw you! All right, Wunderbar. How much HP do you have left? Jeez. Cormano, what do you think? Decision. Destroy. Help Cypher. I mean, you're oh boy. Yeah, can only be good. Well, it's, it's just Meteor. I have, I've, I've dealt with this spell multiple times before. <laughs> just no, just block, block, block. Not bad, Squall. You know, I see why you're Cypher's rival. When Squall gets up, I'm gonna summon uh Shizuka. Just screw this noise. She'll destroy them. Boop. <laughs> Cute. Right, let's get those mega elixirs. Going! That's crit. Couldn't steal. Come on. Oh, Lord, pain. Yeah, that sucks. Is she painting all of us? That would suck when we get to Squall, because I need, um... I can't be silenced while I'm trying to summon. Not gonna help you. Come on, Jubus! I forgot she has that ability. Let's get this out of the way. Sorry, I had a cough. Great, thank you. Come on. Woo! Try us not to, uh, screw it up. Ooh! That was close. I knew it was coming. Alright, two of these max. Yep. So this is gonna be the best possible damage I can do against these two with this summon. It's gonna be brutal. I'm seriously half damage just press square just to ruin it. <laughs> I'm horrible. Come on, blow it up. Pull them up. There we go. No, down to one. This will hurt a lot. Jeez. That just... Oh, I lost again, you know? Callus. Jeebus.
That was just whew, brutal. Retreat temporary. Right, we're not done yet, you know. Oh, well, you kind of are. It's the last time we see them. Right, let's go. Now, fun side note. If you missed anything while you were here as Zell, you can go back and actually collect these stuff that you missed. So, keep that in mind. <laughs> I remember you two. Why the heck do I have to take orders from some kid? Well, he is our superior. Don't you think I know that? I chose the wrong career, being ordered around by some punk. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Then why don't you quit and find another career, sir? Hmm. <laughs> Just kidding, sir. You're right. You're absolutely right. I quit. Uh. Ledge, let's go home and have a drink. What? Me too? Of course. Now, come on. But, but. <laughs> what about salary? I think the sooner. I love the fact that they're taking orders from Cipher when the when the reason why they got demoted in the first place was because of Cipher's team. Now all the way back in disc one. Oh, I feel so bad for these two. Let's keep going. All right, let's see what is actually here. Let's see here. <clears throat> uh, let's see here. One or two mega elixirs, power, uh, powerist, or five, uh, or three to six, strengths up. The love, love G if you didn't get it. The power trainer if you didn't get it. Combat King of five if you didn't get it. Speed Junction if you didn't get it. Uh, laser cannon two to four. Vitality ups optional. Uh, strength up optional and a hero or holy or holy war, nifty. And there are behemoth, elite soldiers, Ellen Oil, G soldiers, G I M five two A imp, iron giant, S A M zero eight G, drama, Torvad, uh, Fujin, Raijin, and a few other bosses. So just fun, some fun stuff. Alrighty then. This place looks familiar. There should be a save point down here, if I remember correctly. Whoop. Nope, Meteor. Alright then, nifty. So yeah, if you missed anything as um, Zell when we first came here, make sure to collect those if you're playing along. Otherwise, let's just go. Okay, recommendation. Allocate lightning to your elemental attacks. I was, um, I saw my stuff equipped from when I was, uh, grinding out cactuars. Water is their weakness. Also, equip Mug if you have it. This place looks familiar. Alright. There's that save point. I knew you were right here somewhere. Save in. Funaba. Alright, time for an interesting boss fight. Oh, we actually meet him again. Meet again, you know? We'll take you on, uh, you know? Now, no fight. Next time. That's right, we have a surprise, you know? That big thing. Fortune's time doesn't lift us up with his psychic powers and throw us out. Okay, so, this guy's actually interesting. Alright. I'm gonna pause it. Actually, let's, let's scan it. 
Global weaponry attack mode on. Support the weaponry attack off. Okay. Scan the main body. This is Mobile Type 8 with left and right probes. Now, Mobile Type 8, the body itself, is pretty weak, generally. <laughs> Alright, so, for Mobile Type 8, we can drain um, Fire, Blizzard, and Thunder based spells, increasing levels 119, 2029, 20, 30, 41, as well as Flare. So, Fire, Blizzard, Thunder, and their upgrade equivalents. You can mug laser cannons from him. You'll drop laser cannons if you're lucky. He's weak to lightning and the end. The probes on the left and right are support based ones and attack based ones. The left probe is support, which will have cure spells and Asuna. You can mug vitality ups from it. And the right probe is the attacks, it'll have the fire, blizzard, and thunder based stuff. And you can mug strength ups from it. But the main body itself is the uh, the weak point. So that's, you have to destroy that. So, it's pretty simple. Let's go. Oh. Bring it. Ow. <laughs> no real ow there, actually. Couldn't steal. Wind homing laser. I think that's a counter attack every time you hit it. Let's just wipe him out of existence. Yep, counter attack. Yeah, shield. Yeah. Let's keep it on its toes. I don't need those uh, stat ups, so I'm just gonna keep attacking. Come on. Oh. Still can't steal from you, huh? This boss actually is supposed to be pretty difficult. But, uh... Hmm. Oh, that's right, it's because... Oh, got laser cannon, awesome! It has a ultimate attack called Negetto Flame. Um, it will destroy you if your HP is anywhere below 2,000. So, yeah. Be careful! Fortunately, we're doing we're doing just fine. Come on. All right, this should hopefully kill if I get a max hit. If not, it's gonna do a lot of damage. Are you coming? No! I'm about to really push it. Come on. Oop. Woo! I'm not going to get 250, but I'm going to get close. <laughs> there you coming, there it is. Oh, it's right there. 250, you got it. Like I said, if you mess up, you still have a chance to get it. It's just really slim if you uh, screw up near the end. This is going to hurt. A lot. <laughs> Ooh, jeez. 26. Alright, now its pods are out. Oh, now it's dead. <laughs> yeah, basically, when the pods fly off, that's when, it, that's when the pods are active. It'll start healing it when its HP is low and doing spells. That's when it, that's when it can use Megato Flame as well. So, uh, be careful. Okay, so, I'm about to give you a major, major warning here about something. Alright. 
Well, let's go back and save. So we don't have to worry too much about this upcoming part. Because we have Shikyo with his... Shikyo and uh, Bahamut, or Tiny Tim. Speaking of which, I forgot to mention this. Thank you to one of the commenters in the last video, or one of the previous videos. Last video, yeah. Um, also, I have his name written down. I'm going to butcher it. I apologize. He, uh, Hisuo? Hisuo? Something like that. He told me where Tiny Tim comes from. Tiny Tim is a ukulele singer known best for his song, Tiptoe Through the Tulips. Um, I knew the name sounded familiar. It was one of those things like, tip my tongue, I know I know this name. I just couldn't remember what it was. So, that's where this name comes from, which is hilarious when you take into account. You have a giant dragon and you have that song playing when it attacks. That's just hilarious. But, enough of that. On to my warning. If we continue on um, past that door, uh, we will be unable to uh, stop the series of events from progressing automatically. It's a guaranteed story progression at that point on, and it will continue on to the end of the disc, which is awesome. That's what we're aiming for. However, in disc four, you are solely hunting down the final boss. You're going to their dimension, go to Ultimisha's uh, castle place thing. And that's it. You can leave and return to the main continent through uh, social doors, which I'll show you next time. But for the most part, that is the main focus. You're unable to enter any civilized areas, such as towns, train stations, Balam Garden, etc., etc., etc. So it is purely impossible to continue on anything that involves cities. I believe there's a mod on the PC that allows you to go back into them, but besides the point. Uh, Alright. So, that's the point. The areas that are still available, however, um, are the Fire Cavern, so you can go back to see um, Dante's place, the Tomb of the Unknown King, so I need to reduce place, the Central Ruin, so you can still get uh, Shikyo and Odin, all the Chocobo Forests are still active. Trebia Canyon, which is the place where Laguna fought the uh, Ruby Dragon in the Dream World. The Crash Site, so you can still get Alexander's uh, card. And Tears Point, I have no clue where that's at. Now then, these specific quests will become impossible to finish after this point. Timber Maniacs, you can no longer find any of those magazine articles. The Queen of Cards quest, you can't do. However, she will appear on the Ragnarok, so you can still win the cards that would have been available in that quest. It's just you have to wait to the end of the game to get them. Uh, the Dolet Bone quest, I have no clue what that is. The uh, Card Club group quest, you have to finish all those from Blom Garden. And Shumi Village. Now, I'm going to read this person says here. Of these, the most important by far is the card group quest. While it gives very little reward now, three rare cards, it gives the best prize of any side quest in the game once you continue onward. Effectively unlimited rare cards for your card mod. So be sure this is done. What basically will happen is the card club group will appear on Ragnarok if you finished it. Or at least uh, a representative of it so you can, you can uh, get the cards from them. Uh, a further task you must undertake is to get all of the game's shops under Call Shop. Do this by simply visiting them, all except uh, Man from Garden Shop will be unavailable once you finish this point. So, make sure you have this list here, and you'll be good, for the most part. I, um, I haven't gotten all the shops, but I've gotten most of them. Like, I haven't got the one over in, um, uh, what's it called? Ugh. I can't remember what the place is called. Where Laguna was when we woke up in, di we woke up in disc 2. Oh well. Uh, there's also the question of the Queen of Cards. Let's see here. This is the last time you can move her or change her personal trade rules. So be sure uh, you have her where and how you want her. I recommend at Lunar Base with all as her last used trade rule. Speed up common card acquisition. 
but arguments can be made for one file location as well, for more depth of that. Okay, so, there is one more Guardian Force we can get. It's um, an optional one similar to Odin. We can't really control it. However, a lot of people consider this a bad one to get. I'll explain in a little bit why that's the case. Basically, if you have Odin now, you're getting the other Guardian Force. Guaranteed. That's all you need. As a fun side note, as a kid, the, the site's actually still up, there were rumors to actually get Cloud Strife as a Guardian Force. This is actually um, the event that it happens in. That allegedly it happens in. It's completely BS. He's not in the game, so... Unless you have a mod that makes it. We've come to take it back alone. Looks like we've got company. Show him your hospitality. Ratchet, stop. What's up? You've had enough, you know. Go. Well side, Laguna should be here too, or soon. Hey, hey, come on, people. Cypher, we're quitting, you know. Don't know what's right anymore, you know. Exactly my thoughts. I thought we were a posse. Posse. We are. We always will be. This is Fujin talking, by the way. The one who talks in all caps always. Always. Because, because we're a posse, we want to help you. Whatever it, uh, whatever it takes to fulfill your dream, we're willing to do. But you're being manipulated, Cypher. You've lost yourself and your dream. You're just eating out of someone's hand. We want the old you back. Since we can't go through to you, uh, can't, can't get through to you, all we now, all we have now uh, to rely on is Squall. It's so sad. Sad that we only have Squall to rely on. Cipher, are you still going? Are you still going to keep com going? Rajin, Fujin, it's been fun. Are you going to continue uh, with this night thing? The night has retired. I guess you can call me a young revolutionary. What do you think you're doing? I've always got to be doing something big. I don't want to stop. I'm going to keep running. I've come this far. I'm going to make it to the end. To the goal. There's no way I'm sharing it with you. I actually really like this, this bit here. And... We win! Odin summoned. Hey, Odin. Yep. He just reversed Zantetsuken, the ultimate attack. But, we get a trade up. Odin? Heh, I won't go down that easy. Show me what you got, Squall. Let me add Nera's Scar for you. Okay, so. We're basically trading Odin for another Guardian Force. I'll, I'll let it be shown who it is in a minute. Now, the reason why a lot of people don't like doing this is because Odin is a guaranteed 100% chance insta-kill. The other Guardian Force we get to replace Odin is more of a uh, 1 in 5, I think it is. 1 in 5 chance of actually doing that. 
they'll basically appear and choose from a selection of swords to do an attack. Sometimes it's Zantetsuken, other times it's not. The problem with this other Guardian Force is that he does have a one attack that only guarantees one HP point of damage. So yeah, kind of weird. But he does have other attacks that deal guaranteed crit, uh, one that does max damage, one that does 9,999, Zantetsuken, and the other one that does one damage. So that's the whole point. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Cypher, one level, uh, level 1 to 45, he has Fire, Blizzard, Thunder, 1 to 19, 20 to 29, Fiera, to, uh, Fiera Bazaara, Thundara, Thundara, 30 to 45, Fiaga, Bazaga, Thundaga, and Aura, which is awesome. Uh, you can mug Holy Wars or Heroes from him, higher chance of getting a hero. And he can drop Holy Wars and Heroes, higher chance hero. Uh, he is vulnerable to poison, and status elements, drain, and the end. So, yeah, pretty cool. Alright. So since we did to get Odin, all we have to do is survive 13 rounds and we win. That's when the other Guardian Force makes his appearance. Or we can just kill him. So I'm just going to do, um, oh, got the hero! I'm just going to do physical attacks for uh, 13 turns. I doubt I'll be able to pull off the full 34,500 damage in that time. I think if you do kill him, though, in that time frame, he also... The Guardian Force comes up and uh, wins. You know, I should probably draw auras from him, now that I think about it. I should have max auras. Let's see. There we go. Go try! I do need to heal Renoa though. She's getting down. Draw. One aura. Good. Back to Max. I do wish there was a way to get uh, Cypher as a party member, but there isn't. This kind of sucks. Boop. Come on. Bloodfest. Oh, cool. I guess he has his uh, new limit break. That's kind of cool. Jeez. Brutal. Yeah, I like getting the new Guardian Force, though. Um, I understand why people don't want to do it strategically. It's just... The new Guardian Force is cool, in my opinion. Boop. Boop. Keep it going. They're blood fest, awesome. I do also love the fact that his his limit break is literally the uh, the opening attack that gave Squall his scar. It's just so cool in my opinion. But it also goes to show you that uh oh here it is. <laughs> I love this. It's so cool. Gave me the fourth one. Huh? Was it you? Then dodge my sword. Eat this. Ah! So it's a one in four chance to get uh, Zantetsuken. Where is the dimensional interval? That is Gilgamesh. He is a um, 
I want to say Sumerian? Mediterranean? He is, he's a mythical king. He's actually known as one of the... Um, his story is known as the oldest recorded story in history. I'm not sure if, if, it's, actually, if, if it's actually true, but it's all really cool. Uh, I recommend looking up, look up the Epic of Gilgamesh. It tells of him being a... Uh, basically a very selfish king and learning humility due to a wild man named Enkidu, who usually appears alongside Gilgamesh in... Uh, uh, his uh, representations in his games, which is really cool. Um, he's always seen as a collector of rare and powerful swords, though sometimes he does end up with lesser copies. I'm looking at you, Escalapor. But, uh, yeah, he has a 1-4 chance of doing it. Um, one deals uh, the 1 damage, 1 deals max damage, 1 deals crit, and 1 kills. Cypher. His summon is really cool looking, too. If I get a chance, I'll show it to you. Hopefully I will. Not yet. Not over yet, Squall. Ha 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 Like a villain. Squall! Renoa! Squall, Cypher's got Renoa! Let's just go, over, go after Cypher. What? Let's do that. But... Here we go. Cypher, stop it! Haven't you done enough? I know you're not like that. I can't go back now. I can't go anywhere. The sources is... Uh, the sources is as one. That is Ultimisha's wish. Cypher. All right. Come on. And cliffhanger. That is the end of disc three. I really don't like how they ended like this because they could have easily ended the ended the story. Um, ended disc three after the battle with Adele. It's had the entire thing of disc four be the bat be the battle with Ultimisha and whatnot. But that's it for this set. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next week where we uh, continue on from there. But until then, have a great day. Bye-bye.